Welcome to our section, how to find the vertex of the parabola. In this video, we're going to learn what is the vertex, how to find it, and a little bit more about it. Let's start. First of all, what is the vertex? The vertex is the lowest or the highest point of a parabola. For example, here you have the lowest point, and here you have the maximum point. Today, we're going to learn how to figure it out the vertex of any parabola. Let's do it. First of all, let's just review something. How do I know when I have a minimum or a maximum? All right, this is the key. This is how I remember. When the first term or the term next to the x squared is positive, that means that she is happy. Therefore, she's going to look like this, and she's going to have a minimum. Maybe she has minimum problems. Now, when your x squared, let's say that you have a term in front of it that is negative, that means that she's upset because she has maximum problems. So that means you're going to have a maximum. So I'm just going to repeat again. When it's positive, she's happy. And as you can see here, she has a minimum. When she's negative, she's upset and she has a maximum. So let's do this algebraically. So now, we have a function, f of x equals x squared plus 4x plus 10. Now, f of x is the same as y, so this is just like a fancy name of y. So, how do I find the vertex? First, we need to identify who's a and who's b. a is going to be the term next to the x squared, and b is going to be the term next to the x. That's how easy it is. In this case, a is going to be equals 1, b is equals 4. Now we're going to plug this little formula here into, um, basically we're just going to plug these guys here and we're going to figure it out, the first part of the vertex. All right, let's do it. So I do negative 4 divided by 2 times 1. Remember, b was 4 and a was equals to 1. I get negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2. Awesome. I still have not finished. Now we need to figure it out the value of y. So I'm going to go ahead and that value that I just got, I'm going to plug it into my function. This is the proper way of doing it. So just plug the negative 2 into anywhere where you have an x, and we're going to do it. And look what we get. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 4 times negative 2 is going to be negative 8. And then you have the 10. 4 minus 8 plus 10 is equals to 6. That's it. I found my vertex. x was equals negative 2. y is equals to 6. Basically, we just found out the lowest point of the function. This is, she's like a flower. This is where she just starts growing. Therefore, the vertex has a minimum when y is equals to 6. And also, the value that cuts the parabola in half is x equals to negative 2. So look how easy. The vertex is going to give you the x of symmetry, which is the value of x, and it's going to give you where the minimum appears, which is when y is equals to 6. Let's do another example. Remember, if the value next to the x squared is negative, she's upset. So I already know that I'm going to be having a maximum here. Let's find the vertex. And you're going to ask me, Vanessa, what is my b? Well, guys, here b is just equals to 0. And look, you're going to have a equals negative 3, b equals 0, because see, there's no x around. And I just plug it into the formula. ta -da! I get 0, then I get this. By the way, a lot of people ask me where this negative belongs. This negative belongs to the top. But remember, negative 0 is just 0. So 0 divided by whatever is just 0. Now let's find y. That value that you just got, we're going to plug it into the f of x. So I have 0 times 0 is just 0. 0 times negative 3 is 0. 0 plus 2 is equals to 2. Beautiful. So what is my vertex? My vertex is 0, 2. Remember, we say we had a maximum because it was negative. Where does a maximum appear? That is when y is equals 2. The x of symmetry is x equals 0. That is the, actually like the line that cuts the parabola in half. How easy was that? You did a great job. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Thanks.